Hello friends, welcome to my channel. In today's video, I will solve problem on reconciliation statement. Yes, let's start. The question is, the net profit of a manufacturing company was rupees six lakh forty five thousand as per financial records for the year ending thirty first December nineteen eighty three. The cost books, however, showed a net profit of rupees eight lakh sixty four thousand six hundred for the same period. A careful scrutiny of both the records revealed the following facts. So, in this first para, they have given profit as per financial records and profit as per cost records, and certain items they have given, and we have to prepare the reconciliation statement. Yes, we'll start the solution. First, write the heading reconciliation statement. Draw the columns, particulars, rupees. Rupees. So in this problem, both the profits they have given, but we have to take any one profit, either profit as per financial records or profit as per cost records. I have written here net profit as per cost accounts. Write the amount in outer column, eight lakh sixty four thousand six hundred. And now we'll see the items one by one. Interest on investment not included in cost accounts. Interest on investment it's a financial income, and it has to be added. So right here, number one, interest on investment not included in finance in cost accounts. The amount is forty thousand. Any financial incomes or gains, it should be added. Any financial charges or expenses, it should be deducted. The format of reconciliation statement I have already uploaded. For format of reconciliation statement, visit my channel Avnit Academy. Next item is works overhead under recovered. If any. charges or overhead if it is under recovered it should be deducted so right here number 1 works overhead under recovered in cost accounts and the amount is 15500 administrative overhead over recovered any charges or overhead if it is over recovered it is to be added so number 2 administrative overhead over recovered in cost accounts amount is 8500 next loss due to obsolescence any losses or charges it should be deducted so the second item is loss due to obsolescence and the amount is 28000 right in inner column next income tax provided in financial books income tax it's a charges or expenses so it should be deducted so the third item is income tax provided in financial books and the amount is 2 lakh bank interest credited in financial books bank interest is credited credited means it is a income and any financial income it is to be added so right here in add bank interest credited in financial accounts and the amount is 2500 next depreciation recovered in cost accounts 60000 depreciation charged in financial books 60000 so in cost records 
they have charged depreciation sixty thousand and in financial accounts fifty six thousand means more they have charged in cost accounts that is over recovery of depreciation in cost accounts over recovery of any charges it should be added so right here over recovery of depreciation in cost accounts and we have to write the difference amount so write in bracket 60000 minus 50 Six thousand, sixty thousand minus fifty-six thousand, and you will get the difference amount four thousand. Okay, over recovery of depreciation in cost accounts, it should be added, and the difference amount is four thousand. Next, loss due to depreciation in stock charged in financial accounts. So any charges. All losses, it should be deducted. So write in less. Fourth item, loss due to depreciation in stock charged in financial accounts, and the amount is thirty three thousand five hundred. And the last item, store adjustment credited in financial accounts. Store adjustment, it is. Credited, credited means it is a income, and income it should be added. So write here fifth item, store adjustment credited in financial accounts, and the amount is two thousand four hundred. Now add these five amounts, forty thousand plus eight thousand five hundred. Plus two thousand five hundred, plus four thousand, plus two thousand four hundred, and the total of these five amount is fifty seven thousand four hundred. Now add these two figures: eight lakh sixty four thousand six hundred, plus fifty seven thousand four hundred, and the total amount is nine lakh. Twenty two thousand. Now add these four items: fifteen thousand five hundred plus twenty eight thousand plus two lakh plus thirty three thousand five hundred, and the total of these four figures is two lakh seventy seven thousand. Now, from nine lakh twenty two thousand. Minus two lakh seventy seven thousand, you will get six lakh forty five thousand, and this six lakh forty five thousand is called profit as per financial accounts. So this profit they have already given in question. See here, the net profit of a manufacturing company was six lakh forty five thousand as per financial records. And same amount we have got, so our reconciliation statement is correct. Hope you got the solution. For more such videos, do like, share, and subscribe my channel. Thank you, friends.